Chris from the podcast, and you're listening to our newest series, Podcast Noir. Today's topic is the human Dracula. Otherwise known as Satsu Miyazaki, known by the people of Japan as the Atoku Killer, or the Little Girl Killer, Miyazaki was famous for his obsession with killing, eating, and defiling young girls. Miyazaki was born on the 21st of August, 1962. However, it was no normal birth. His father, Katsumi, a rich businessman who ran a paper company, had eyes no longer for his wife. Alas, poor Satsumu was born from an incestual relationship between his father and his oldest sister. This incest did, of course, have side effects. Along with a premature birth, it seemed as if Satsumu was destined to become a monster. You see, he was born with elongated fingers and hands that were fused to his wrists, giving him a somewhat vampiric look. It was later in his life when Miyazaki went to school that he first developed undesirable traits. Because of his long fingers and hands, Miyazaki was bullied, and due to his relationships at home, he was hated by his two sisters, one of them being his mother. Ignored by his father, the only person who seemed to care was his mother, quote-unquote, who did her best to try and comfort Miyazaki. However, it was all in vain. Skip to August 22nd, 1988, and Miyazaki has killed his first young girl, Marie Kono, only four years old. It was just after Miyazaki's 26th birthday, and poor Mary went missing from outside her friend's house. It turns out Miyazaki had taken her, using his well-managed approach to lead her under a bridge near Ataku. He then strangled her and defiled the corpse, taking home her clothes for later gratification. Even though he left her there, Miyazaki soon was got paranoid and went back to burn the body, but not before cutting off the hands and feet, which were later found in Miyazaki's closet. After he was done, Miyazaki ground the charred remains into a powder, which he placed in an envelope along with a letter that read, Marie, cremated, bones, investigate, prove. The second murder took place on October 3rd of the same year. Miyazaki was driving along a rural road when he spotted his next victim walking along the path seven-year-old Masami Yoshizawa. Miyazaki asked if she would like a lift, which she agreed to. Then Miyazaki took Yoshizawa to the same location as he killed Kono. He killed and defiled Yoshizawa. When he was done, he took her clothes and left. Now, by this point, I'm hoping you've learned a lesson. Don't talk to strangers. If you're scared, tell someone. Don't engage with weirdos, and most certainly, don't do anything you've heard here yourself. Now, before we continue, a word from our sponsor. Oh, man. Hey, bugger. Poop. These are just some of the things you say when you haven't had your daily dose of special G's just not. Whether you're on the move or just getting out of bed, just not had got your back. With over a hundred different products ranging from just nuts, just nuts, to special G's just nut and go. Just nut has something for you. So come along in to one of our many locations along the Mornington Peninsula and get yourself just nut. Brought to you by the Method Australian Parliament. On December 12, 1988, Miyazaki struck again. This time his target was a four-year-old Erika Namba, who was kidnapped as she was walking home from school. Miyazaki forced her into the back of seat of his car and made her take off her clothes. He then took pictures of her before killing her, tying her hands and feet behind her back and covering her with a bedsheet. He disposed of her clothes in the nearby woods and dumped her body in the car park. 
Miyazaki then constructed the letter for her family out of magazine letters that read, Erica, cold, cough, throat, rest, death. It was on June 6, 1989, that Miyazaki earned the name Dracula. He had convinced a five-year-old Ryaku Nomoto to allow him to take pictures of her. After he had finished, he led Nomoto to his car and proceeded to kill her. He then covered her body with a sheet and placed her body in the trunk of his car, then taking her to his apartment, where he would spend the next two days engaging in sexual acts, taking pictures in various positions and filming it all. When the body finally began to decompose, Miyazaki chopped the corpse up and disposed of the torso and head at a nearby cemetery. He kept the hands, however, and proceeded to drink the blood and from them and eat the now over three-day-old flesh. Fearing the police would find the body, Miyazaki did return to the cemetery to bring the body and head back to his apartment and into the closet with the hands of his first victim, Kono. The next life would be claimed on July 23, 1989, and would be in fact the last life Miyazaki would claim. On the same day Miyazaki was arrested, he was trying to insert a camera lens into the vagina of a young girl. When he was confronted and hit by the girl's father, the Miyazaki then ran home naked. It was when he returned to pick up his car, he was apprehended and placed into custody after the father had called the authorities. When police investigated Miyazaki's apartment, they reportedly found over 5,000 horror anime films, which Miyazaki blamed for him becoming a serial killer. Mixed in with the tapes were pictures and videos of his victims. Miyazaki's trial began on March 30th, 1990. Miyazaki blamed all his actions on his older ego, Ratman, who he spent considerable time drawing in comic detail during the court proceedings, yet the judge ignored his claims and consulted psychiatric professionals who offered him two different options. One, Miyazaki truly wasn't in a state of delusion when committing the crimes, or two, Miyazaki was fully aware of his actions, but was in fact a psychopath. The judge went with the second option and sentenced Satsu Miyazaki to death. Miyazaki described what he has done as an act of benevolence, and when the child killer Karu Kabashi described himself as the next Satsu Miyazaki, Miyazaki simply responded by stating, I won't allow him to call himself the second Satsu Miyazaki when he hasn't even undergone a psychiatric examination. Minister of Justice Kiyono Yamata signed his death warrant and Miyazaki was hung on June 17, 2008. During his time on death row, Miyazaki did write two letters, one addressed to his father, stating, I blame you for this, and the second to his quote-unquote mother, saying, I'm sorry for all of this. Remember to change the oil in my car, otherwise I won't go. Soon after Satsumu's execution, his father, Yasumi Miyazaki, killed himself. It's interesting to have finally finished this and reading over and saying it out loud and even writing the script I realized that uh, there are some very scary things in the world and writing it I did feel quite ill it was not an easy thing to research and if in fact you do feel disturbed or upset by the content that you've just heard listen to or read perhaps along with the uh, audio recordings perhaps you may want to seek somebody there will be links to helplines in the description below just remember everybody don't do any of this and if you do feel as if someone is scary or threatening you Remember to tell someone. You're not alone in the world. And if you ever do think about doing any of these crimes, remember, you may go down in history. You may be remembered for doing something, but is it really how you want to be remembered? A serial rapist that drank blood from his victims. 
Satsumu was mentally ill. He needed help. And he didn't get it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... Stay safe, everybody. Stay sane. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Podcast Noir.